Hey guys, welcome back to another hidden weapon in Elden Ring and let's take a look at this whip. Now, there is something very special about this whip. Check it out. It says that this whip is made out of thin metal or thin blades and and the damage that it's able to do once this weapon is leveled up, it is crazy, crazy. But you know what, guys? What's better than one whip when you have two of them? Oh, yeah. Now, let me demonstrate to you guys what the damage you are able to do with two whips. Let's go find some. Oh, let me go. Let me, let's go demonstrate it. So let's get closer to them. Just check it out, guys. Look. Look at this. Ooh, look at that. Alright, come here, guys. Come here. Oh, you got Alright, look at that. He never, he never saw that coming. It's just, this weapon is so fast. And then, I'm just using this fast trigger right here. So, I'm able to do some combination with both of the... Uh, whips at the same time. Look, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Boom! It's like a super fast weapon. Okay, let's move out of the way. There we go. Boom! He's done. And then they fall. And okay, another great thing about this sword is that it becomes a straight sword. And let me demonstrate you guys. Look. Ooh! Look at that. Oh, looks you, see, you guys see how far that thing goes and also since it's a whip it whips everybody that's around them So let's do, okay. I, I, I think the big guy wants me. Okay. Let's go Give him a piece of this. Look, look at that Come here. Come here. Come here. All right. There we go. You wanted some of these? All right Let's go. Let's get them There you go, there you go. I want to do this to you but look at that guys that whip is amazing so let's take a look at the stats really quick and show you guys all right so the stats on this weapon are if once you have it all leveled up for plus 25 physical damage is 247 and since we have it fully leveled up it becomes a b dexterity weapon it is scales up to B and attributes that I require are strength 10, dexterity 19. And you guys saw how fast this weapon is able to just whip people around so easily. And the skill that it comes with, it is a kick. It says push an enemy back with a high kick. As you guys saw that, that's when you hold your um, RLT button and you're able to extend that whip and it becomes a sword and just take a look at details of this uh, Uriamen. Now, it's amazing how so many different weapons in Elden Ring and yet you find so many hidden weapons. So here is one guys for your collection and also, I mean, I would be amazed how this one works out in PvP. I don't know, it might do really good. I'm gonna have to try it out and let you guys know. So. Now let me show you where you need to go to be able to get this whip. Now, if you want two of them, check out the description and uh, go ahead and head over to Discord channel. And right there, we're gonna help you out, guys. We're gonna hook you up. So just go there and uh, just ask for either Tron or Laser Bolt. All right, guys, so here we go. So I'm gonna show you where exactly you need to go. Okay, guys, to get to the Urim whipped, you need to go to the following section, pull up your map, and you are going to, if you are from this section and you come up, you're gonna go all the way across up here. Now, if you're coming from this section, then you can come down here and go down the lake and then go up. So this is where I'm gonna meet you and I'm gonna guide you along where you need to go. So the best thing to do here is ignore all those ugly tarantula arms, whatever they're called. And the best way to that I've found so far is coming through here. Just go come along here. Now through here. Now, one thing I do recommend here is be, um, come with a very light armor because I'm gonna show you later on why 
because at the end, almost. Oh, 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 I got stuck. I got stuck. I got stuck. I got stuck. No. No, that's not. Okay. Made it, guys. Made it. Oof. Oof. Y'all know how that feels. Anyway, so keep going. Um, so the best thing you can need to do is to come with the light armor because uh, we're going to make a huge jump at the grace point. jump and boom you're able to make it and then we come across go down this steps take care of those damn foes first i hate those things feels like halloween every time i see them okay there we go that's it they're done oh, and pick up them Yep, somber smooth stones. Hey, if you want to uh, farm him, then that is a section that you can farm in. And then you come here and boom, there it is, the U Urim Whip. I hope that I said that correctly. So let's take a look at this. If you want to make any build in Elden Ring super powerful, take a look at this amazing strong weapons. They're definitely going to make any build strong 